Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I have an absolutely hilarious glitch for you guys on how to actually get a little bulletproof helmet on your hand and make it kind of look like a boxing glove. You can do this with any helmet that you want. It doesn't have to be the bulletproof helmet. You can literally use anything that you want. It looks absolutely amazing, and it's probably one of the easiest glitches that we've done in a long, long time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of gameplay. You'll be seeing it again here in a few seconds. But as you can see, all you need to do is go down to inventory, accessories, and then go ahead and pull up your helmets. Now, you will need a motorbike for this. You can use an ATV motorbike anything that you like put a helmet on it's it's pretty self-explanatory anything that you put a helmet on you need to go ahead and put on the helmet that you want to use and then put auto show helmet to on and then click x or square if you're on the ps3 to go ahead and set that helmet as the helmet that you want to use now you want to go ahead and hop onto the bike wait for your character to put on the helmet and as soon as you hop off the bike your character will start taking off the helmet now as soon as your character takes it off i'm going to play all this over again so if it's kind of fast i'm going to show you all over again all you need to do is just hop back on the bike whenever you're character put, puts back on the helmet. It's super, super easy to do, and let's go ahead and watch it again here. So you have your character, you have your bike. That's pretty self-explanatory. You go to inventory, accessories. When Once you're in accessories, you go on to helmets, and then you need to go ahead and put on the helmet that you want to put onto your hand right here. Now, once you're on the helmet that you want, you click the set button. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll tell you which one is the set button, and make sure auto show helmet is on. Now, hop onto the bike, wait a few seconds, and as you can see, your character will put on a second helmet right over the helmet that you're already wearing. Hop off the bike, wait a few seconds, your character will take off of the helmet right here immediately just press Y or triangle to hop back on and you will be you will be like good to go you'll have the helmet on your hand and it will stick to your left hand no matter what you do now whenever you join a new session it does go off but honestly it's very very easy to replicate and you can do lots of different things with this you can do funny moments you can just mess with people online you can show your friends how to do it and just take group pictures with like helmets flying all over the place it's a pretty awesome glitch it's very very easy to do and uh, that's honestly all I have for you guys in this video now I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that I got in the mail today from Logitech now they're not paying me or at all in any way shape or form for this but they they did send me some free stuff that I wanted to review for you guys, kind of show you guys what I thought about it and inform you guys that this stuff does exist because it's pretty darn awesome and the guys at Logitech are just some of the nicest people ever. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that review video right here. I hope you enjoyed the GTA part of this. It's very, very simple. It's very, very awesome and you can honestly do a lot of stuff with it. You can do snapmatics with it. You can do everything that like you, you use your hands for and it'll be stuck on your hand. And if it, ever, if it ever comes off for any reason, just go ahead and do the glitch again. It's very, very easy. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to show you guys some of this awesome equipment and uh, let's cut to some real life stuff right about three two one let's go now all right guys so thanks for watching the video i'm not being paid for any of this i kind of wanted to just do a little review my desk is super messy right now should i cleaned up beforehand i got a little editing got a little twitter got a little destiny action going on but i wanted to show off some of the things that logitech sent me they were very very nice and sent me out some stuff just to try for fun so these are logitech g35s i'll have links to everything down below if you want to go check them out for yourself but basically it has a microphone on the end and as you can see right here it's a mutable microphone and uh you can see the mute the mute light. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed and then it'll go off whenever you unmute it and it has three different sound settings You can configure them all to do exactly what you want you got a little sound thing and it has surround sound in the back I'm gonna see if I can't focus this camera a little bit to make sure you guys can see everything and block out the light Goodness, I'm a horrible filmer, but as you can see there are the g35 headsets They're pretty cheap and they're super super good for their uh, for their price and it has a nice little ear cushion in there I'm not like a super advanced headphone reviewer, but I just thought I'd show you those I definitely recommend them. They are USB they hook right up to the back of your computer and uh, they're pretty darn awesome so I'll get to this in a second here I'll get to that last and the next thing up that I wanted to kind of review and talk about is their new G402 mouse this is their newest mouse it's uh, pretty much exactly like the old one except it feels a hundred times nicer I, I actually reviewed their old one a little bit ago and uh, this is their new one so let me see if I can't pull this out and show you guys some of the different things basically it has four buttons on the side so it has one two three four Five. So five buttons on the side, scroll wheel, and then uh, and then uh, the back right there. So it's it's not like a super advanced like 400 buttons, but that's exactly how I like it. It uh, gives me enough options for PC games. There's really not too much to review on it, but it feels super nice. It has a little glowing thing that'll go in and out for the Logitech gaming thing right there. Definitely enjoy it a lot and definitely recommend this mouse. And the last thing right here is this awesome little thing called the UE Boom that is made by Logitech as well. So let me turn it on real quick. It'll kind of do that and let me go ahead and use my phone to turn on some music for like half a second Just to show you guys exactly what it does and it kind of makes a little sounds when you whenever you link it and do everything so 
Okay, so there's Passion Pit. <laughs> Shout out to Passion Pit for letting me use two seconds of their music. But th this thing is absolutely amazing. It has 15 hours of battery life. You can take it around, set it wherever you want, set it sideways, set it frontwards, backwards, however you want to do it, and it hooks up through Bluetooth. So you can use your phone, you can use anything, you can use an MP3 player, whatever you have that has Bluetooth, you just set it up, immediately connect it, and you can start it playing. It can be used as an alarm, so if I wanted to like throw it up here on my bed and uh, set it for like 8 a.m. at 8 a.m., it would start blasting music. It'd be absolutely awesome, and I uh, just kind of want to do a little review on it. I got the red and white one because I definitely thought that one was the coolest, but they have a whole bunch of different colors. You can check them all out on the website. So that's kind of like my mini review of those three items that LogiTech sent me. Thank you again to them. They're not paying me for this video in any way. I just kind of wanted to review the things and uh, tell you guys what I thought about them. So the headset is pretty darn awesome. It's great for its price. The mouse is pretty much exactly what I need, but if you're a hardcore gamer, you might want something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more features, but if you're not a very hardcore uh, PC gamer or you don't need a whole bunch of like macros and stuff like that, that's definitely the one for you. And the UE Boom is just an awesome portable sound system that you can charge with a USB cable. So anyway, that's about it for the review, about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.